everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Safe Solvers. Uh, sorry for the day delay on this one. I really have no reason to delay it, to, to have, a, I don't have a reason to why it was delayed, so I just have to apologize. Um, in our news, we're here, Pokemon Leaf Green Safe Solvers. We're gonna go see where Sid left off, and then we're gonna start the timer. So I'm just gonna load up the file, which I have ready. I have no idea where he's left off. So, should be this one. Here we are on Southern Department Store, apparently. Let's quickly start the timer. I need to set it first and start. Okay. Alright, so. Don't know why we're here. Um, let's see what's going on. Okay, looks like we have some things. Bitex appears to have some mail. How do I choose you? Train a challenge grass. So, apparently this is our way of communicating now, Sid is just going to receive, we're just going to send emails to each other through Need through Bitexel. <laughs> Hello, I choose you, challenge grass trainer, center, don't evolve squirt. <laughs> right. I gotta do something with that later on. Okay, has he done anything else? Okay, okay, so he wants me to go challenge the grass trainer, okay. I, w I wanted him to do that since I'm pretty sure I did uh, gym number 3. So I was kind of hoping he would do gym 4, but if he wants me to do it, then okay then. <gasps> did, he, uh, did he get the uh, self scope? He got the self scope, right? He better got the self scope. Self scope, self scope, self scope. Good, okay. Okay. So, with that all done. Um, is our team healed? Didn't check. Okay, they're all healed. Are we all good to go? Hydo is level 30. Good, 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 good. Everyone seems to be pretty decently leveled, actually. I don't I can't tell if they're higher than they were before. Either way, though. Alright, so, with all this out of the way, looks like it's time to head into the gym. This tree looks like it can be cut down. So... I guess one reason I could say I've been delayed with this kind of stuff is I have been recently getting back into hosting Minecraft Ultra Hardcore matches, which uh, if you don't know what Ultra Hardcore is, um, I do it a lot on my uh, other channel which you may have seen in the uh, outros of some videos. Uh, it's basically a Minecraft game mode where you don't regenerate any health and it's a, uh, it is it's pretty fun, I've been playing it for a few years now and it is can be kind of stressful at times, but it is also, it's pretty fun at the same time. Uh, and I've recently begin, began hosting my own matches on the subreddit there that broadcasts, that broadcasts all the matches, and it's been going really well actually. Never really thought I'd get into that kind of stuff, like hosting, but I'm really happy I have, and they've, been, they've given me really great feedback, so that's really awesome, I'm really happy. So I guess that's one reason why I've kind of been distracted as of lately with that kind of stuff, but uh, I still have time for all this and Pokemon is still quite really close to my heart and always will be. Uh, the amount of times I've played Leaf Green though, it still hasn't got tiring to me, I don't know why. Just I think I explained it, I think I discussed this in the last video, how people sometimes say to me, how can you play so much Pokemon Leaf Green, it doesn't make any sense to me because you have, like, you play it like ah. You play through you play through one game so many times and do the exact same thing. How is it fun? I don't know. Just this game, just the boredom never the, the boredom never comes to me. I just seem to always have fun no matter what. I don't understand why. There's no real reason to it. I just always have fun. So this is part 26 now, which I think. No, this is no. Pokemon Gold is still my longest series. I'm pretty sure Save Swappers is going to take about 60 episodes to complete. I, I'm, I'm calling it now. Anyway, uh, as we've seen, Falcon here just learned Wing Attack, which does, which is pretty much the exact same as Aerial Ace, except it doesn't do, uh, except it, it can miss on the on the other occasion. Uh, however, I would like Wing Attack because it's a very basic move, and I, it's just. It, it, it's just really handy to have, and it's better than Gust, so of course I was going to get rid of it. We've had Gust for far too long now. Okay. 
I'm probably never going to be using Fly in battle, by the way, just simply because I just don't find it a useful move to use. Okay. So yeah, Falcon is probably going to be the one to annihilate this gym, I'm thinking, because she's a flying type and all these people in here are grass type users, so it's pretty much guaranteed that Falcon will, Falcon will be the one to take on, to take this gym home, take this badge home. Also, Pidgeot, Pidgeot's is finally a final evolution. It's probably, one of, it's probably my second favorite bird Pokemon ever, Pidgeot. And I'm really hoping I can get Pidgeot eventually. I'm pretty sure it's level 36 of the balls up. I'm really looking forward to getting a Pidgeot one day. One, one, one day in this playthrough, that'd be really awesome. I just hope we don't get. I just hope we don't get Falcon switched out for something else before then. That will suck. So, if you have a Charizard or like a Charmander, then this is going to be a really easy gym for you. If you have any Flying types, it's also going to be easy. Uh, Psychic, to an extent, because all the Grass types in here are Poison types, so Kazuya would also be good. But. And I guess poison as well, but most of the grass types, if not all of them, are poison types anyway, so there's not going to be much of a chance for you to use poison attacks in here. And if so, probably the best you can get at this point is only like poison sting or maybe acid. So you don't really have much options, unfortunately, or many options. But it seems like Falcon is is taking out every single is, is taking out every single Pokemon just one here, which gives me which gives me good promise so that the gym leader might not be as hard as I was thinking. I sometimes do have problems with Evercut, but not all the time. I mean, there's the odd occasion where I do have the slight problem, but most of the time I can usually find a way to get rid of her Pokemon quickly. All of our Pokemon are equally annoying, despite one of them being kind of underleveled, it's also equally annoying to the others, because it has pretty high defenses. Did I beat the other one? I did. Okay, so there's just uh, three trainers left, and then we have the uh, gym leader. I like how this person says they don't allow bug or fire Pokemon, but they allow flying just fine. Even though flying is also extraordinarily effective against glass as shown right here. <laughs> yeah, Falcon is uh, yeah, Falcon's getting quite OP. Which is good because I'm pretty sure Falcon was one of the lower level lower level members of the team last time, but now she's definitely getting up there. there. Oh, close. Oh. Seems these are uh, secondary evolutions are are harder to take down because all the secondary evolutions I think have survived so far. Considering you're paralyzed and you've done a lot, I might keep you out for now, Falcon. I think I want to give someone else a spotlight. So let's give Kazuya. This. I don't, I don't remember the last time I used Kazuya properly, like for a long period of time. So let's go for you. I wish you could uh, rematch people in here. I don't, you can't though, sadly. If you could rematch people in here, then that, then that would be really great, to be honest. Okay, Kazuya is still overpowered as heck with confusion. That's good. Oddish. If you could rematch all the people in here, I think that I think my training would go a lot more smoother. Okay, one more hit. That was not what I expected. I did not expect you to heal your to heal your Oddish. Oh well, that shouldn't really change anything. That will, if, any, if that does anything to me, it'll just waste one confusion PP, which really doesn't matter much to me at this point. Yeah, these are cool trainers. I think we've come across them before. They'll always have five Pokemon on them, and that is that is annoying. But at the same time, it's also more of a challenge. And they normally have this first evolutions, then they have the secondary evolutions, and then I think they'll either have one third evolution of the Pokemon, or they'll just have like random additional Pokemon, which you probably haven't seen yet, so it might, it might be kind of special, like a far-fetched or something. 
those Pokemon also give a lot of experience, which helps, as you can see here. Gust. That's actually very useful for this gym, I'll take that. Instead of... Eh, tackle, probably. Gust is going to be more effective than Tackle, so... There we go. Kazuya has learned Gust. And Gloom. To be honest, Gust I think might be more effective here, so let's try using Gust. Let's see... Oh, okay, about half damage, that's good enough. So, of that, one more Gust should take Gloom out. Okay. And then there's just one more Pokemon left, I think. Uh, yep, it's an Ivysaur. So yeah, you see, here's the odd Pokemon of the bunch. You get Bellsprout, you get Bellsprout and Weeping Bell, Oddish and Gloom, and then you have Ivysaur at the end here. So Ivysaur's kind of the odd one out of the group, but he'll also give a lot of experience. Oh, I hope I have a, I hope I have enough time. I hope I have enough time to get rid of all the trainers in here and also take down the gym leader, I hope. I don't want to stop in the middle of the gym battle, but I've taken a lot of time quickly. I've taken a lot of time to get through all these trainers and also read that letter. Okay, one person left. Um, you have a poison attack, right? No, you don't. I thought you had a acid. Sid, get rid of it for growth? That would suck if he did, but either way, that's okay. Um, Sparky. Probably a bad idea, but... Oh well. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Surely nothing can go wrong here. Okay. Execute. That's not too bad. Um... Okay, that thing okay, this is a bad idea. How much damage? Oh, I meant to use Shockwave. Dang it. Okay, Shockwave. How much damage does that do? Ooh, okay, that does a lot. So, one more Shockwave. Yep. There we go. Hold on, Sparky. Level 27. Alright, splendid, splendid indeed. Okay, I think I'm gonna go heal up first before this gym battle. I just wanna make sure I am fully prepared to take this, uh, to take her on. So let's head to the Pokemon Center. And we're gonna go and heal up, and then we're going to take on the fourth gym leader, which will be very exciting. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. It's always bothered me how Nurse Joy always says we hope to see you again at the end of each one of our sentences, like this. It's like, you, I think I've, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm going to mention it again because I find it so stupid. Why do you want to see me again soon? Do you want my Pokemon to be injured? Do you want to just see my Pokemon in pain? Is that what you want to do? Because that's pretty harsh. I'm surprised all the Nurse Joyce haven't been fired yet for... There's probably a word I can think of, but I can't think of it. Just being plain rude, I guess. Oh god, I'm sure I'm gonna have to chop down these stupid trees again. Okay, I don't even know who's first. I think it's Jolteon, which probably isn't a good idea. I don't know why I'm thinking Kazuya. It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. I don't know, I mean, you're standing at the top of the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Is it worth seeing the girl spike for this? Actually brings back a lot more nostal nostalgia than the boy spike ever did. That's kind of weird. I think it's because I don't, I, don't, I don't really see the ghost fight much in battle, and I've only just recently just started paying attention to it, so yeah. Uh, Erica will have potions to heal her Pokemon up, I'm pretty sure. Like, I'm pretty sure she's about to use one here, yep. And she has Hyper Potions now, which is something that none of the previous gym leaders have had, so that's going to be a bit of a problem, but... 
hopefully we can get past it. Even if Cassio can't, I know that my other Pokemon can. Um, I will try and keep you alive, though. Do I have any... Oh, yep. I will keep you alive, Cassio. Let's try Confusion. Oh no, that's not going to make things any easier. Oh, okay, there we go. I just thought Gust because Butterfree's a flying type and not a psychic type, so I thought that maybe Gust would do more, but oh well. Okay, you're injured, you're not going in again. Um, you have a poison attack. You do. Okay, we're gonna send you in. Even, actually, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the risk. <laughs> Vitex was a ground type, but she's also a poison type, so. That might help us. Uh, as you can see, this next Pokemon is a Tangela, which is level 24. Which, and although it's under leveled, it can be really annoying. It has Giga Drain, which is uh, which is the TM you get at the end of beating this gym. She also has a full heal, by the way, to heal up any status problems. So that's one problem. I, I, mean, I mean, that's another problem. Uh, this Tangler has really high defenses and also likes to use Ingrain to restore its HP every turn and also use Giga Drain to deal damage to you and restore health every turn. So basically this Tangler is a massive wall of defense and it's not fun. I'm hoping this will kill it, but it won't, I don't think. Okay, one more one more turn. Or not. I'm hoping this is the end, but it won't be because, yup. Okay, this next attack should do it. There we go. Okay, finally the wall of defense is down. I'm pretty sure that the roots actually stay there though for the next Pokemon, which is Vile Plume, which is her final Pokemon. I'm pretty sure the roots actually stay there for this, so I'm pretty sure Vile Plume will also get a bit of help, unfortunately. I will actually use Fly here. I know I said earlier that I wouldn't use Fly but in, in battles, but I don't know why, I just really want to use it now. I think it's a good time. That's what, that, is, that is another reason why I don't use Fly, because it does that. It just misses. Anyway, do I have the... I don't have the flute yet. Oh, okay, I guess I just have to deal with this then. You get a flute later on that wakes up your Pokemon in battle, in the middle of battle. And it, it's really helpful. Sadly, I just have to deal with this. There we go, that hit it. Bam. Look at that, okay. That's good. One more hit. Uh, Aerial Ace should finish it off, I hope. There we go. Alright, we did it. That was actually a pretty tough battle, but we got through it. That was remarkably strong. <laughs> There we go. The Venom Badge will make Orcs look on level you play. And it also allows you to move Strength outside of battle, which is really nice. We're going to TM19 for Giga Drain, which I will teach right now. Let's see if we get it up. TM19, okay, so you want Giga Drain, which has 60 power and 100 accuracy. It only has 5 power points, though. Casio can also learn this, but considering the lack of yeah, uh, Grass types, yeah, uh, move, yeah, yeah. The lack of grass type moves Giacomo can learn, I will teach it to Giacomo in replace for growth because I do not like growth, I don't really find it useful, especially because in this game I can never remember what attacks are physical and what attacks are special. So yeah. Ding. Okay, there we go. While I'm here, because I don't think I'm ever going to have a chance to do this any other way, Kazuya, I will give you a power up. I will teach you the Psychic TM, I will see I got from the Mr. Psychic's house in Saffron. I was tempted to get a Lapras maybe later on, but considering I have Squirtle, and then I teach the Psychic to the Lapras, but I, considering I have Squirtle, I don't think, I don't think that'll be happening. Anywho, that's um, four badges down, let's just take a look at the badges we've got. There we go, four badges. And, ah, so Sid actually took a picture as well, sweet, so there's a picture of a team. There's a picture of our team. That's awesome. Okay, let's head back. I don't know how much time I've got, but I don't think I'll be getting to any more battles this episode, so... 
I guess I'll head back to the uh, Lavender Tower, which is the next place we have to go to save Mr. Fuji. That's the next place we have to go, I think, so... Quickly make an adventure to heal up, because I'm pretty sure some of my Pokémon are injured and paralyzed and all that stuff. And she's gonna wish that she hopes to see me again, which which will forever live the curse that I will eventually have to see her again. Ah, that's a very good theory, actually. <laughs> I'll save that for the next episode, though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut through Saffron, because it's easier. Yeah, this guy is still blocking the entrance to, I believe, believe it's Silphco, yeah. This is Silphco, which is a pretty important part of the game, but this guy's gonna be blocking this until you get the Poker Flu from Mr. F and, and you save Mr. Fuji. The gym here is also blocking. And that's the end of the episode. Apparently, wow, for once I didn't actually look at the timer at all. I guess that kinda makes it more enjoyable, though. Alright. Um, thank you for watching, guys, this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Safe Suppers. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Yeah.